Hi, my name is Robin Clark. I am the remote pilot manager here at Nexamp. What we do uh, for Nexamp is we use SUAS or small unmanned aerial systems to do aerial photovoltaic inspections for our various ground mount and rooftop mounted or solar arrays. I've been a drone pilot for the past six years and I've been flying professionally for the past four. Uh, I come from a background of uh, hobby and recreation, so building and fabricating my own drones uh, in my basement and racing them during the day and eventually working my way into the solar industry. When we do aerial photovoltaic inspections, we're looking to see if there are any anomalies at the site. Uh, and that can be anything from the cellular level, which would be these squares here and the module itself. Uh, we can see if one of these is uh, overheating, uh, which would indicate you know, a sign of like high resistance. It could be early signs of the degradation of a particular module. That would be uh, something we'd want to take action about, or at least keep a close eye on. So this is kind of really what makes up the bread and butter of our inspections. Uh, this is what helps correlate the anomalies that we see, whether that may be an activated bypass diode, uh, cellular defect, or anything like that, or you know what we're really looking for, which are string anomalies or outages. Uh, that is what impacts the site production the most. Drones are very useful within the solar industry because it is a huge time saver. We no longer have to employ a team to go out and by hand with a handheld thermal camera inspect each panel. The day-to-day -day life of a drone pilot involves many different tasks. There's both desk work, uh, mission planning, uh, and making sure that you have the proper waivers applied for, for uh, airspace clearance. Uh, there's file organization after you have acquired a certain data set. The more physical part of the job is coming to a solar site and knowing that you're managing your time correctly and that you're using the best hours of the day to acquire the best data. Personally, I'm full of a lot of pride working within the you know renewable energy sector uh, is you know, feels really good that you know, I'm doing a small part in helping uh, improve the environment and that feels like a true calling for me.